Hi, I'm James Costo. I'm a fourth year physics and instrumentation student at GMIT and this is my fourth year project. It took a duration of six weeks to complete and it is the upgrading, automating and calibrating of a scanning digital mini monochromator. It was upgraded by placing an SIPM on the output slit of the monochromator and the monochromator was controlled by Arduino which both controlled the motor position and it uh, digitized the output from the SIPM. The entire project was controlled using a GUI in LabVIEW and um, that could show a live update of the scan that was actually happening. Uh, so this is the Ealing Optics Scanning Digital Mini Monochromator. It has an operational range of 300 to 800 nanometers. Uh, the slit width on the entrance and exit is a uh, 100 micrometer slit. Um, on the exit slit is mounted the SIPM which has its own 3D printed mount. Uh, this here is an example of that SIPM. Uh, the SIPM itself is a sensor C-series um, and it is sensitive to light between 300 and 950 nanometers. The diffraction grating within the monochromator is controlled with the stepper motor on the rear of it here and the diffraction grating has 1800 lines per millimeter. So this is the project box that uh, controls the monochromator. Inside in the box is a Arduino Mega and on top of that is a prototyping board. Mounted on the prototyping board is the controlling um, IC chip for the stepper motor which is the L293DNE. Um, beside that over here is the trans impedance amplifier <coughs> which converts the output signal from the SIPM to a voltage. The trans impedance amplifier has a automatic gain setting that's controlled by the Arduino um, IDE and that's done using a, a digital potentiometer. The output from the trans impedance amplifier is then digitized using an ADS115 as a analog to digital uh, converter. On the exterior here is a, a external reset button, um, a connector leading to the uh, controlling laptop or computer and um, it has a fan to keep uh, the power resistors or the power, the voltage regulators within cool. This is the LabVIEW front panel and it acts as the user interface for this project. From here we can send commands to the Arduino using these buttons and a live spectral update is graphed down below. The commands that may be sent to the Arduino are a full scan which scans over the entire spectral range of the monochromator, which is 300 to 800 nanometers, a band scan where the monochromator will scan between two user entered parameters, a wavelength select where the monochromator moves to a, speci to a specific user entered wavelength, and a tear function that returns the monochromator back to its lowest parameter of 300 nanometers. At the moment, there is a cadmium lamp shining into the entrance slit of the monochromator, and we're going to do a full scan of that spectrum now.